Hey y'all, I'm Kelly Kells. And I'm Red. And we are back again with the Boy Girl Podcast. Yes, episode 15, I believe. Is it 15? Something like that. But yeah, we're here. Uh, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you're not new, feel motherfuckers with girl, I don't know, like. Yeah, like, subscribe, show us some love. And then we really know, you know, to keep pushing our videos and to keep doing our shit, but... Yeah, and shout out to the people who are listening. Uh, make sure y'all download and do all the things y'all do on that side of the channel. I don't fucking know. Same shit. Whatever. We out here. Anywho. Alright, let me just tell y'all. Alright, look. You gotta get close. So, boom. Boom. <laughs> Let me tell y'all about my situation that just happened to me. And I need your input on this. And what I should do, I need y'all input. Okay. Okay. Let me just give y'all a little quick backdrop story so it doesn't seem weird because it's going to sound weird, but it's not weird. Okay. Boom. I was on Facebook. It's a little dating thing. I don't be on there, but I was on there one time. Just out of curiosity to what the fuck be going on. No, you're lonely. Just to see what be going on on there, right? I was on there. Fuck on the girl. Fuck on the girl. The girl was talking to me. I was talking to her. I said, hey, come over. And she was like, okay, sure. Then she was like, do you have your own crib? I was like, yes, of course. She was like, okay, do you have food? I was like, yeah. She was like, do you have movies? I was like, she yeah. food? Yeah. And then yeah. she was like, do you have weed and liquor? I said, no, I do not smoke, but I do have liquor. She was like, all right, boom. So then she was like, come get me. And then that's when I was just throwing off. Like, fam. First of all, she lived like 30 minutes away. And then she was like, come get me. I'm like, fam, you just asked me about all of this. And you still want me to come get you? Like, you, you asked me all this and you don't even have a car. Like, where is your, like, what am I, like, where is your thing in this situation? Like, you, I'm supposed to have everything? Did that wrong or is that, that's my number one thing. She said that was so wrong. I feel like the only way, as a woman, the only way I'm going to act, first of all, I'm not asking all the things you got straight up the first time we're talking. You know what I mean? Like, that's just like, like, I get it if it comes up in conversation, but if I'm starting to come over, I'm not going to ask you if you have food in your fridge. Like, I might as well ask you, you pay me? You about yeah, to pay me? the only question she should have asked was, do you have your own crib? I understand that question. Well, yeah, that. And then the weed and liquor, because that's what they live. After that, nigga, don't worry about nothing else. And then, boom, she got mad. So I said, what? Yeah, so I literally said, what? Just asking me all these things and you don't even have a car. She's like, guys, come get me. And I was just like, fam, but... That's cool. I probably would have came and got you, but it's just that you just harassed me about all these things. You would have drove your minutes there. Probably not in that particular situation. But after all those questions, I definitely didn't want to come. Okay, boom. She got mad. We talked for like five seconds after that, and she blocked. All right, boom. Then the next day, or maybe like two days, three days later, I don't know. I ended up seeing her on the same thing again. After she blocked, I don't know. She unblocked. I don't know what, what happened, but I ended up seeing her again. And we started talking again. She was like, she was like, oh, and you don't talk to me, lazy, blah, blah, blah. But I think it's like flirting and not like flirting back, like, da, da, da. And then, and then, I don't know, we're, I was like, bro, it's not that deep. I don't know, it was like a little conversation, right? And then she gone, and I was like, but I don't be on here, so take my number and text me. And she was like, oh, just add me on Instagram, um, message me on there, because I don't feel comfortable giving people my number. And then my head exploded off my fucking shoulder. <laughs> Cause I was like, I didn't say this, but I was thinking, what? You were just gonna come to my house last weekend. You were willing for me to have come and pick you up, which would have mean you would have given me your address, and you're gonna be at my house. But now this weekend, you don't feel comfortable giving people your number. Like my, I didn't even like my brain didn't even couldn't process that information. Am I tripping off? So I far? mean, I do, I do understand why. Cause I don't like giving out my number either, just because of the stuff. And I don't think same thing to her, but just for a simple fact of like, I save my number for more of like personal people and business. So like, if I give you my number, it's either for like some type of business thing, or we actually really know each other and we're like really close. Because some niggas like to like blow your phone up and call you, and I don't save numbers, so I don't like people call me and I don't know who it is and I answer and I get into a conversation I don't want to be in. So I didn't say hit me up on here until I really know you. Because then I'm about to block you on my number and just do it extra stuff. So I would understand why somebody doesn't want to give out their number. But you were just going to come to my house the weekend before. That's the part that was She sounds off. like.
like she's not trying to really get to know you. She just, I know I'm not trying to be rude or anything, no, but everything she that. sounds like a bum, um, botch, um, because first of all, you like why is it like I just don't understand it. Like how do you not how do you expect somebody to have something, but you're not bringing anything to take? Like you expect him to come get you. And you don't like, and you're expecting all this stuff. Like, like okay, I get it. Like, if he's living with his mom, or like he, I don't know, don't got a job or something, and you're like, no, nigga, come get me. Like, I'm not gonna drop all the way there. Come get me. I get that. But you're asking all these questions. You got this. You got this. You got food. You got movies. Like, this nigga got everything. For like, he got more than a lot of females. So for you to not come with anything. You're lame. Like, you're exclude. Like, I don't even want to mess with energy like that. That just sounds like leeching energy. Right. Like, okay, so then, boom. That's the first. Okay, so that's how I start. So, okay, right before the hole, you give me your number. I don't give my number. Blah, 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 blah. And she must have asked me what's her sign because I was telling her. Because we were talking about the week before about her blocking me. And I said my sign, and she told me her sign, and that was it. What's her sign? A Libra. Okay. So then we moved on, and we got some messaging on DMs, right? I must ask how old she was. She told me her age. I'm going to tell her my age. And then, and then I said, oh, yeah, this is my age. When's your birthday? She said, I could have sworn we just talked about this. I said, no, you didn't tell me your birthday. You just told me your sign. And then, and then she said, I recall, well, guess. And then that blew my brains out. What? Like, you want me to guess your birthday? Like, what, that's what I was thinking. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? You, you want me to, like, guess through every single <laughs> number in the world your, your birthday? It sounds childish. It is. Okay, so then I'm like, okay, so I just said the month because obviously I know what Libra is. And then and then she was like, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, you got kids? She said, yeah, I got four. Okay, hold on. Oh Wait, but, 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 but listen, it gets even weirder than that. So then I'm like, yeah, she said you got four. I'm going through a picture. She does not have four kids. There's no way she has four kids. She was, this girl doesn't have four kids. Her body doesn't have four kids. She has no kids on her pictures. You should never see her pregnant. Back. But look, you never see her pregnant on her pictures. So in my brain, I don't have pictures of me pregnant. Well, like one or two. No pictures of her kids, nothing. But most women do. And then so I'm like, she doesn't have four kids. But I knew that in my head. But then I just went along because I'm thinking like, is she being funny? Is she being weird? Like how she's already weird, or does she really have four kids? So I didn't want to say nothing like, damn, you got four kids, blah blah blah, because maybe she actually does. But I knew she didn't. So I just kept going. I'm like, um, I ain't got none. And so she was like, so you really think I got four kids? And I was like, what? I don't know. Yeah, that's what you said. I don't know. She's, Do you? Yeah, she's weird. Though. And she was like, but what if I did? I was like, what is going on right now? But I was so into the comments, like, this this kind of weird stuff, this, I, I'm going to keep going. Because I want to know, like, what, are you weird? Are you retarded? Or, I don't think you can say that word. Are you mentally challenged, bitch? Because what is going on? And so I'm like, I don't know, man. Do you have kids or not? And she was like, no. And then that's when I was like, all right, something's not right with this woman. Let me just leave it alone. But I didn't leave it alone. So I'll probably going to be like, I'm more update on this story. Maybe she really week. do have Unless a car. Unless she sees this. Maybe she really do have all the stuff that you have. She just didn't, she's just being weird. Like, if she's saying stuff like that, like, maybe she just wanted to see if, because she looks like she likes to play a little mind games and stuff. So maybe she just wanted to see if you were going to come get her because maybe other niggas would be hop up for some pussy and come and get her just nah, off the strength. That's not me because it depends on how far. So if I'm going out there, that means if I can come get you, I'm going to have to drop you off. And okay. dropping people off in the morning blows my brain because yeah. I'm already like not horny anymore. I didn't have sex. I don't know what the vibe's going to be like. Like I don't know. Like I'm not going like, to. I want you to leave when you're ready to leave, not when I'm taking it. I will not, I refuse to pick up nor drop off any person. I admit it, I, I used to do it most because I, I had a car since I was like 17. So, you know, niggas don't keep stuff till later. Like, they don't, women's all, women always mature faster. So, obviously, I had a good amount of time where I would always be the one picking up people, bringing them to my house and all that. I will never, ever do that. Like, I'm not picking up nobody. And maybe, and if the only way I would, is if we've been talking for a minute and you have your own stuff and then maybe your car breaks down 
and then I, I'll pick you up or something like that. But other than that, I'm never ever, no, I'm not doing that again. Like, that's so lame. I and I don't even like. I've told you this before. I don't like waking up to niggas. I do not like waking up to niggas. Like I hate that. Like, and they don't got nothing to do like with oh I'm ugly in the morning or like whatever. It's just a simple fact. Like I want to sleep in my bed by myself and. I don't want to wake up to you. It'd be awkward, like you said. Like, I'm tired. Like, I want to wake up when I want to wake up. I want to do what I want to do. I want to make my breakfast and have a good morning by myself. Unless you're my agent. That's it. I don't mind you waking up to you sometimes. As long as I know that when I'm ready for you to leave, you're just going to leave. I don't have to worry about taking you anywhere or doing nothing. Like, if I say, like, oh, I'm about to leave now or I'm about to get ready to leave, like, you'll be like, okay, well, I'm leaving. Like, some people get up and leave in the morning. I, I like that. That cool. Like, leave. Like, on your own terms and your own way. I leave that. Get you out know, of here. niggas don't like, because I had a nigga, or I, we were together, but we were, like, talking. Like, we were trying to get to know each other, like, on, like, a deeper level. Maybe not, like, a relationship level. We were just trying to get to know each other. And every single time I would go over to his house, I would always leave. Like, either, like, that night, early morning, or, like, early, early morning, like, that, I would always leave, and he would be offended by that, is that, like, offensive or something, like, if you're trying to get to know somebody? Uh, it depends, because, it depends, it depends on the, it depends on the girl, because some girls, yeah, stay, well, why are you, where are you going, I remember I was talking to one girl, and I wasn't mad, like, I didn't care, I never said it to her, but, I was like, why are you going to spend the night, but then she had a boyfriend, but I didn't know she had a boyfriend. So that's why she didn't want to spend the night. But I was like, damn, I'm spending the night with you. It was cool. I'm like, it's kind of fun. But you're going to leave because you have your own car. You're leaving. It's time for you to leave. So, yeah, spend the night. But I just don't most like it. time, I want you to leave. Like most girls, I do want you to leave right after. Maybe like right after, maybe not right after, maybe like 20 minutes after. No, maybe like right after. Like if, if, if we have sex, and after we done, I go into the bathroom and I like wipe myself with a quick little quick shower or whatever. So I finally get back in the room. If you're fully dressed, ready to go, that is my fantasy. <laughs> like I love when I get out the bathroom, I come back in the room and they're already dressed, putting their shoes on, putting their jacket on. I feel like, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> I love you. You can come home whenever you want. But I hate when I come back into my room and they're laying on my bed butt ass. Like what? You're just letting that vagina juice and drip all over my bed like that? That is crazy. You're not even going to put your panties on or nothing? That is ridiculous. And then you want to put my nice blanket over your body? That would blow me the most. I hide my good blanket. But do you let them go to the bathroom first? Because that's another thing no. that bothers me. Is like, I'm not going to put on my panties with a wet ass, I mean, a wet stuff vagina. Like, I'm, I'm just not, like, I'm going to ruin my stuff. I'm going to have to walk around. Like, no, I want, I need to go to the bathroom. Like, that's sometimes, what I need to do. Sometimes they go in the bathroom with me, but I would go right. As soon as I, like, as soon as it leaves, as soon as the, the, the sperm leaves my testicles, I'm up into the bathroom. Like, I don't wait a second. Unless, we, unless I mess with you, and we just have some amazing, crazy stuff, and we're just later after. Cause nobody feels like getting up, but that that be with certain people. Most times, right after I'm done, I get right up and go straight to the bathroom. And by the time I get back, you should be ready to go. Or if you're gonna stay, you should at least have your pants on, or something, your shorts, or your hands, or some. Or come to the bathroom with me, put your stuff up, and put your stuff on. Don't lay in my bed right after and just let it sit there and drip and dissolve in my bed. You should say that though. I don't know how to say that nicely. I'm gonna say it just like that. You should just say I. You know what you should say? You should just say I have like I'm real OCD. And I have like, like, like a phobia of like, like not long having sex, but like just like juices and stuff getting out of my bed. So could you like please go to the bathroom? And you should let them go first, like instead of having them sit on the bed. Like you can't expect them to put on the stuff. Wow, like that's I inconsiderate. Go for it. I go. Well, for you it. well then say they can come with you because that's inconsiderate. I'm not about to put my stuff on and ruin my stuff. Well, then now we go first. That's no fair. You don't care about your stuff. Well, then she don't care about I don't care about your bed. Period. That's rude and disrespectful. Well, let me go to the bathroom then. You can go to the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom. 
That's why I just said, let her go with you then. I don't want to invite you in and get your ass up and come on. So I'm saying, if she, if she just wants to lay there, be like, oh, okay. like, push her to come, like, and say, I got an OTD, you know, whatever, until, you know, and be like, so you, like, you can come with me, though. Because most girls are going to think, like, like, I would think that, like, he don't, we don't know, even know each other like that, like, or we're not close like that. I'm not going to come in the bathroom with you and see you on soft and stuff like that. Like, a lot of guys I aren't. I don't care about that. I'm just saying, a lot of guys are, don't like that. So, like. Once I, once after we have sex, and I don't go out nothing else after that. Nigga, do whatever you want to do. It's just, it's just a goal. But if you don't like it, oh, well, well, yeah, I got those. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, you were, you, you can't. The closed mouths don't get fed. Like, you got to actually say what you want. Like, you can't just think it and then just. Okay, so how do I say go home? Well, then you so that's what I'm going to say. You probably won't have sex with you again. Well, how do I say that nicely? Like, how do I... Oh, how do you say go home? That, it depends on the girl. It really do. Because a girl like me, I'll be like, okay, whatever. I might feel some type of way, but it's like, at the end of the day, it's like... Because if I say... That's going to show to me. If you tell me to go home, I'm not going to feel no type of way. Like, it was, but then you're never coming anyway. back. No, no, listen, it's just going to, sh- it depends, that's why I said, it depends on the girl in the relationship. Are you trying to build a, a no, 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 I'm saying, I have to be nice, I can't just say go home, because if I say that, then you don't feel some type of way, and you might not come back, and maybe I might need you to come back one day. So you make an excuse, that's what I always do. Yeah, but this thing is always I'm like, not always, I'm not always. I think it's hell, like, oh, now, as soon as you bust your nut, now something pops up. No, I've said that before, I've been like. I, cause I told you, I don't like to wake up to niggas, so I'll be like, yeah, I gotta, um, go do something. I've had, I've had a nigga do that to me before. Sometimes, she, like, girlfriend, some, mm-hmm. sometimes girls come over and they be like, well, if I come, um, I'm not driving back home at night, if we're gonna be drinking, or if I'm home at night, I'm not trying to go home late. Sometimes they just be like, can I stay at night? And that's the only way they're gonna come, so I say yeah. And then once they what get here, and then after we have sex, I don't want to stay at night anymore. Or it would be that's blowing me. Is what really, what really, <laughs> what really be happening is more like, like before we have sex, like when we're trying to get into it, we'll be laying there like watching Netflix and stuff, and I'll be like touching on you, and cuddling with you, and like trying to suck like, nibble and stuff like that, just doing certain things, and I'm like, oh, he might like me, and blah blah. After I have sex, I don't want to touch you no more, and then they'd be like, they just like go about have sex, and then I'll come back and lay down. And then I'm worried about sleep now, so I'll try and like try to lay down. And they'll be like still trying to touch on me like how we were doing before. Mm-hmm. It's like fam, that's over with now. We can't do that anymore. Don't touch me now. See, that's Go to why, sleep. That's why I don't like that's one of the reasons why I don't like spending like with niggas. Cause it's like I do like cuddling and stuff. Like I'm I like that a lot. But it's only with someone I'm really into and I really like. So I know my position, and a lot of females, they do the same thing for every nigga, and I think y'all females need to, like, realize that, like, different niggas are for different shit. Like, y'all just think that any nigga you have sex with, you're just supposed to, like, do relationship kind of things. Like, if you're, if you're, you know, having sex with this nigga, and he, and you just met him, and you're having sex with him, don't cuddle with him first, because nine times out of ten, like you said, after that nut, they look at you a way different way. So it's like I never will make, I never will bust out the first move. If he wants to cuddle with me, if I'm feeling him, cool. But most of the time, it's really up to the nigga because they'll still have the same feelings because we're girls, but their feelings will change drastically. So it's like, just chill, just chill. <laughs> I did say that. Drastically. You said drastically. No, I didn't. You said drastically. No, I didn't. <laughs> I told you, you said drastically. Like, you said drastically. 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 You Besides those five, everybody else, if they would have went home right after, wow, what a wonderful life that would have been, 2020. I still haven't lost my 2021 virginity yet. I didn't either. I'm 
face is already into this. No, I'm cold today, so that was my ego. Yeah, I haven't either, but I'm not tripping though. I'm not, I'm, I don't want to give myself to anybody anymore. Like, it just don't feel good to me anymore. Like, it's not the same for girls. Like, I just, I'm not craving it. I'm at a point where I'm not craving it unless it's real, a real praise, like a real, like, like connection, real, like, you know, like, it's so much better when you actually have, like, a connection with that person and you actually are trying to get to know them and you actually, like, like them than, like, just being, like, a fuck buddy or somebody, you know, you just consensually having sex with, but it's not building, whatever, it's not building up to anything. Then I just don't want to do that. That's not fun. I think it's because I'm getting older. Like, I'm going to be in my mid-20s. I'm going to be 25 this month. And I don't know. I'm just not feeling that anymore. But I know you are, so. No, I'm not. I am, but I'm not. It's not as hard as it was. Like, I'll be having my moments, and I'll be like, it's not that deep. Because just for certain people, like, a lot of the people that I've had sex with already, I just wouldn't do it again. Just because, like, and I know, like, and people like them, I, I stay away from them because I just don't want their right. energy. And people like them. Yeah, like, I don't like the few people I've had sex with since 2020. Um, a lot of them I wouldn't have sex with again. And people that are like them. Like oh, just, I think that people like them. Like, I wouldn't, people like them, I wouldn't want to do, like, I've been staying away from times, but I don't want their energy touching my energy. I don't want their body on my body. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But then I get into my horny bag, I'm just like, I don't care. Let me just get this out. But then I have to stop myself. Sometimes I stop myself, sometimes I don't. Because right after I, because when I don't stop myself, right after I do have sex, I feel bad all over again. I feel empty again. I feel lonely. I think I could if I really wanted to, but it just wouldn't be what I exactly want. Like, I most definitely could find a nigga that, like, and I could get him to be, like, down with me if I really wanted to. He might cheat here and there, but I know if I really wanted to, like, I could get into that. But I don't want to waste any more time. Like, I just don't want to waste any more time. Like, I already wasted three years with somebody that I did not like at all. And still don't like, and it's like I just I don't know. Like I'd rather just be single and just do what I need to do instead of having a distraction or a nigga to hold me down or whatever. You know, like I don't know. I've been feeling lonely though. Sometimes I have nights where I'm like kind of like, damn, it'd be cool if I had somebody, but. Yeah, I have those nights too, and then I invite somebody over, and, when they're, in, and then right. when they're next to me, I'm like, ugh, yeah, that's not I don't want this right. anymore, go away, I changed my mind, go home, I'm so sorry I just made you come over here. You're feeling... And then I do that, and then I do that, and then I do that, <laughs> and I don't talk to them again, and I'll hit them up four months later and do that the exact same thing I would thing never to talk them. to you again. Because I've had niggas do that before, and most of that... The few niggas that I did that with have girlfriends. And I didn't find out that they had girlfriends until after the fact. And then you want to hit me up later on when y'all are on the rocks again or y'all broke up. No, don't ever hit me up again. I'm never going to, no, never, ever, ever. Like, don't ever hit me up. And even if it wasn't that, you're not going to just use me. You said you don't like being used. Remember you said I that? do, but I don't. I don't like being you. Used. Definitely say you I, don't I like being. You said you don't like it when it's not on your time. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I well, like being. I like being used, things. but I don't like being used on your time. Like if you're gonna use me, use me on my time. Yeah, see, that's not a thing. Because one girl uses me, but then she just doesn't talk to me for a long time, and it's like, no, use me again next week. You're you're self-centered, I swear. I think everybody's self-centered. I'm not. I mean, I am, but I'm just saying in that sense. Like, it's like, it's self-centered, but it's like irrational self-centered. Like, you can't expect somebody to do something that you don't want done to you. And, like, I have a realization, I'm not going to do this to you 
if I don't want it done to me, and I'm not gonna get mad when it's done to me. She'll talk to me on the phone one night for like hours and tell me she loves me, and then won't talk what? to me again for four months. She t- she told us that she loves you. Yeah, but not. I don't think she meant like that, like that. But she'll be like, yeah, I love you, and then I don't won't talk to me again for like another two months. I don't think. I like, think that's oh me. man, you don't really love me. You got me, tricked me. <laughs> she's she's. I like I like that about her. It's yeah, funny, she, but just do it more often. If you if you're watching this, do it more often. If somebody told me they love me, I would laugh. No, if somebody told me they love me, I'd say I love you more. I would never ever say that. I would not say that. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be able to know fake we're both it. lying, so it's fine. I can't fake it. Like, I literally can't fake it. Oh. If I love you ever came up, because I take it very seriously. I don't think you take it as serious as I do, though. I take it seriously when it's serious. Right, but I take it serious all the time. Like, the only way I love you is coming out of my mouth if it's just towards, like, my family or people that That's actually love. I've never said I love you if, to somebody that I love. If a, if a guy is hitting and he's hitting from the back and he's pounding while That's pulling your hair and he says, say you love That's me, different. you're going to say you love me. That's different. I'm talking That's about like... different. No, I'm talking That's about like conversation. Thing. I'm talking about conversation. No, anybody will say anything during sex. I'm talking about like an actual conversation like we're on the phone and we're talking and you say it like... Like that's like... Like sex is like... You're like, like being tortured. You know when they torture you, that's and they force what? you to say stuff that you don't really need, or they do things that you don't really need. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I get that's it. like I the mean, same. I don't see how they no, that's the same sex, thing because okay. it's like you're forcing me to say something that I don't mean because of the pleasure. It's that torture is pleasure. So today I was on Clubhouse after a couple hours ago, right? And I didn't even know what was going on. I walked into a room with like 30 people I know, right? And then they all was on mute except for one guy. But he was on the phone with this girl that was pregnant by him, and he was trying to convince her to get an abortion. And he was making all of us listen to it. And then, like, as he'll as he'll, as he'll be talking, we'll mute it, and then we'll have our own conversation about it. And then we'll unmute him and listen to him talk some more about the whole situation, right? And then he'll pop back and forth and talk about it. I don't think she knew we were going to talk about it. But, I mean, he put it out there. He did it, so I'm liable to talk about it. But, um, basically, he got a girl pregnant that he was messing with for five months, and for that whole five months, she doesn't even know his real name, and he was giving her all these reasons of why he's not ready to be a kid, I mean, not ready to have a kid, and why she shouldn't keep the baby, and she couldn't even give him one reason on why she should keep the baby, and I just wanted to know y'all opinions about, because there's women on there going crazy, like, I understand the whole her body is her choice, you know, I understand all that, but I'm sorry, excuse me. if I tell you I don't want a kid a lot of times, and you still have a kid by me, I feel like that's me. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong or right, I'm not saying that she has to because of the abortion and blah, 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 but if I tell you and you do it anyway, that's me, that's very me, that's, that's not nice, you shouldn't do that to me. Okay, I'm going to say two reasons. I said to you before because you know, there's not too many reasons. So, so the first thing is it takes two people to have a kid, and the main person that determines who gets pregnant is the man. You, uh, uh, you, we don't come in you, y'all come in us, so we have no control. Whether you come in us or not, you have you are the one who has to pull out. You are the one who has to put a condom on. You are the one who has to do all that. We have no like we have control. Obviously, we can tell you what we want, but we have no control. Like we can't just put a condom on. We can't just like you know stop the cum to come in. So therefore, especially if you've been fucking for five months, like you got like this isn't just a one night stand. Like I get a one night stand. Like, that's kind of, you know, that sucks. But you've been having sex for five months, so therefore, you should have had this down. Like, you should have communicated to each other what you wanted. You should have communicated to each other, like, what happens if, if you're having sex with no condoms, what happens if we get pregnant, what happens if this happens, like, 
And if, if you guys disagree on that, then you should, he should have already known. Like, he should have communicated that. And she should have told him, well, you know, if it happens that I get pregnant, like, I'm not getting abortion. Like, I don't believe in abortion. Okay, you know what? I kind of low-key agree with you on that. I don't know what kind of conversation they had before. But the reason why I agree with you on that is I'm trying to really think of the situation or what the research was. But I remember I was talking to this girl, right? Oh, I'm the research. I don't remember exactly what the story one was, but I just remember I was talking to this girl, and we were talking about that exactly before we had sex. She was like, I just remember. I think the first thing was, um, if we both get, we both should get checked because I don't like to use condoms. I don't use condoms. I don't like the way that feels. Um, yeah. All that other stuff about condoms. I, I like to have a lot of sex, but I, that's why I only like to have sex with one person. Oh, get get checked that. before we can have sex because I know we're only having sex with each other, blah, blah, and I think that was number one. And in my head, that was okay, but it was like, okay, that's like one. Okay, then like two was like, um, man, now I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I'm like, okay, well, you, you should get on birth control. And that was she was like, I don't do birth control. It messes up my body, all those excuses that girl used for birth control. That was like two. And then later on, this is, this is like in the span of a week or two. And I was like, she was, I was like, okay, well, okay, cool, okay. Well, then if you do get afraid, you know, we just take care of it. She was like, what do you mean? Well, you know, you know, you know, a little pew pew, take <laughs> care of it. And she was like, oh, if you're, that's so rude, in the <laughs> middle of our podcast, you have your men's calling you. Don't that do that. That was an that. alarm to post on Instagram. Thank you very much. Anyways, and it's like, she was like, oh, I don't do abortions. I would never have an abortion, blah, 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 blah. And all this, and my head was blown off. So I'm like, wait, what? So first, you don't want to use condoms, you don't want to get on birth control, and you won't get an abortion. That just sounds like a setup. So I'm like, I'm not having sex with you. And I would have had it. I think something happened where God just saved me to where we just never ended up having sex. And then I moved out. This was in Florida, and I moved out of the state anyways. And then come to find out, she had the kid now. She definitely got pregnant like right after me, and that could have been me. So I thank God for you, God. You're wonderful. And I guess that conversation was like a... But my, my dumb self at that age would have probably still had sex with her thinking, all right, I'm just not going to get her pregnant. I can do this. And I probably would have got her pregnant. That would have been so exactly. cool. And that's your... That's okay. what happens when you're grown and you have... Uh, okay. Okay, you right. have okay, so we don't have this conversation. Let's exclude this conversation from the conversation. If we don't have that first conversation, right? And then you end up doing it, right? And then you come to me, because clearly you could have just had the baby and not said nothing to me. But you came to me, and you were like, whatever, okay, I'm pregnant. What do you think? And I'm like, well, I'm this and that, I'm too young, we don't know each other like that, we're not together, we're not going to be together, so we shouldn't do this, blah, 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 blah. And then you do it anyway, that's bogus, because then that affects the child, because already we're but starting to... child doesn't affect the child. You know, killing you doesn't affect you because you're dead. So if I killed you right now, it would affect you? No, because I'm dead. But you don't even get to And that's not a baby yet. It's not a real thing yet. It's just yes, a little it is. It's just a little thing. You so know? if you're so if you're, if you're four weeks pregnant, what is that? That's not even a if baby. You're, okay, what about nine nine She's not nine months, weeks. She's only no, five weeks pregnant. Well I'm saying, like, it doesn't matter if it's actually, it's actually grows into a baby. Okay, okay this is my thing. tomorrow. Wait till let me finish, let me finish. Okay, boom. Then you may forget. So if we don't have this conversation, and I tell you all these reasons, and you tell me that, oh yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. That becomes, because now we're already starting off our relationship, our parenting relationship, super, super toxic. Because I don't want you to have this baby, and you do it anyways. I'm going to resent you. I'm going to hate you. Because you just ruined my life, low key. Even though it's not, it's a blessing to have a baby. Or like How did stuff. she ruin his? It's a two because, person thing. Okay, what do you think people okay, say when there's no Okay, abortion? and this is what I was telling them. Okay, if it's a two person thing, then why is it always the woman's choice? If it's a two person thing, and I say no, no then why do you get to say if it's a two person thing? No, it's not a two okay, person I'm, thing. Okay, can it's I say something before you move on? Thing. But no, you're no, but let me just say something before you move because I don't forget. You can say it's not. It is a two person thing. We both have a choice because you have a choice. The first, you literally have the ultimate choice of if you're going to come to me or not. Then you have the I have the choice, choice 
to not have this baby, this stupid baby Both I don't people, want. No, that's not what, that's not my point. I don't want it. That's not my point. I don't want the Listen, baby. Listen, Frankie, that's not my point. I mean, Red, that's not my point. <laughs> my point is, you, you, you said you're the only one that has a choice. Why shouldn't it be a two-person decision? It is a two-person decision because you have the first choice and then I have a second choice if I want to keep it. You have the choice if you're going to actually get me pregnant, which is the most important choice. Because that's it. there's I wouldn't even have to make that choice if you didn't get me pregnant. Then I have the choice to keep it or not keep it. Clearly, it's a two-person choice. Anyways, go on. I said. Then we have a toxic relationship from the beginning. I'm going to resent you because all I'm going to think about is, wow, he kept the baby when I said don't keep it. Until the baby gets here. Because they were saying when the baby gets here, he's going to fall over the baby. That's cool, though. He probably is going to fall over the baby. That's not the point. It's not about the baby. It's about all our co-parenting relationship now. I'm going to resent you. I'm going to hate you. And that energy is going to trickle down to the baby. Because all I'm going to think about is, this, this is the rest of my life now. Like, I have to deal with this thing for the whole entire rest of my human existence. All because you didn't listen to me. Because you said no to the choice we have together. That's mean. Now I'm going to not like you. And that's going to trickle down to the baby. And we're always going to have this resentment for each other. Because A, I didn't want you to have the baby. And you're going to always remember that too. Like, you wanted me to kill this baby, blah, blah, blah. You didn't even want to have this baby. Like, we're gonna, we're not going to like each other. This is already starting off bad. So why would we even go into this when we're already, the baby's not even here yet. You're only five weeks pregnant, and we're already having problems and arguments and hating each other over it. So why even go on with the rest of this? Why? It's already not good. So just to end it right here, why continue this for the rest of our lives? That is mind-blowing to me. For the rest of our lives, we can just end it right here and not do it. We're already hating each other. So why continue on with this? Okay, so my thing is, this is my second reason. So the first reason was obviously it's a two-person thing. Like, if you don't want to have a child and you you know you don't want to have that child right now, then you need to take those precautions right now. It's not like, okay, well, I'm going to sell drugs, but I don't want to go to jail. But if I sell drugs, you don't know the risk drugs it's like that that blows my mind like you know the risk of this you know the risk if i sell these drugs i have a potential of going to jail period just like if you have sex with no condom and you come in a person you have a chance of having a child so you need to adjust to what you the choices that you make you make these choices in life and people think that there's no repercussions from it there's repercussions from every single choice you make in your life so niggas need to realize and, and take half a cracker for it, period. It's y'all's choice. But anyways, my second thing is, a lot of people, like, y'all don't understand this because y'all don't have horses and stuff, but a lot of people, they don't want, like, ha having an abortion is essentially killing a person. I don't care what anybody, don't interrupt me because I didn't interrupt you. I don't you care. Okay, well, no, I didn't. I only interrupted you once because that's a little funny. That means you did. Okay, anyways. I know that a lot of people think that, and, and it's up to y'all's opinion, like, everybody has their own opinion, like, everybody thinks what they want. My personal opinion, and I'm not against abortion at all, it's just I'm against people taking away the choice. That's just my thing. But, essentially, in my opinion, that is a life, that is, like, a person, a whole individual person, so therefore, if you kill that being, you're killing a person, you're killing a soul, you're killing, well, not like a soul in itself, but you're killing somebody that has a soul within them, you're killing, not yet. it, yes, it does have a soul. You're killing thing. potential. No, because you're telling me that when a baby is nine months old, they just don't have a soul, they only have a soul when they come out of the body, that the soul just, ooh, boom, I'm going to come in the body when it's, yeah. when it's, pre when it comes out. That's when it does come no, out of the body. No, that's not, where's the facts? That's what you be saying things that aren't facts. God it's your it's opinion. In the Bible. I don't believe the Bible, so I don't know what you're talking about. The Great Bible was idiots. written by no. Oh, the Bible. Was written. Oh my God! Oh my God! Get away from me! <laughs> the Bible was written by man, white man at that. Well, who the, was inspired by the Holy Ghost when he was writing? Like, oh, God is in me. Everybody keeps back down. Anyway, <laughs> so that's what happened. Anyways, back on thing. So, my essential point is. Not everybody, and it doesn't matter whatever your beliefs are, like like I said, like 
my grandparents and like majority of my family, they think, and I'm not Catholic, I'm not like real like into practice religion, but if I was, I would I would feel the same way. Which they believe that if you have an abortion, you're killing a person and you're like damned to hell. Like you're literally killing a person, an innocent person. Shunned. So a lot of people Fire. Shut up, let me finish. A lot of people base it off their Keep going, I'm they're, not stopping you're you. interrupting me, uh <laughs> so childish. <laughs> anyway, shut up and sit quiet for two seconds. Like I did. So you're not a good point. But anyways, I forgot what I was saying. Is you're exactly you're down to hell for eternity. Yeah. So a lot of people base everybody bases off their decisions. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people base off their decisions off of their morals, their beliefs, their their core like you know system of what they believe in. So therefore, if you believe that this is really killing a person, you're not gonna want to do that. So like, like, like I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't want to do that. I might if I really needed to, but like, I don't know if I would want to do that. And like, in example, like my mom, everybody told her to get an abortion with me. Everybody, everybody in her life told her, you need to get an abortion because she had me when she was like 15. You need to get an abortion. You don't need to have this child. You're too young. You cannot do this. And she, she, I think she like almost did it, but she didn't. And then they went on to saying when she did have the kid, they went on to say like I was almost adopted, like, I was almost adopted. like I was the unwanted child to the T by everybody, by my own grandma, like my grandma, me and my grandma are as tight as, yeah, shut up, me and my grandma are as tight as could be. Like not, my own grandma said like you need to get rid of this kid, like you cannot have a kid right now. And it's like if they don't talk, if they would have done that, I wouldn't even be here right now doing this podcast. Like, I wouldn't be, my daughter wouldn't be here. Like, a whole, her kids wouldn't be here. A whole it bunch of shit would be changed. Okay, but it would have still happened. You no. wouldn't, you wouldn't be you now, but you'll be a different you. She would have had a baby later, and it still would have been you, but it would have been like a different version no, of you. No, that's like saying my, my sister is, and like, that's like saying my sister is me. Would have been, yeah. We're not the same person. Basically, came out no, the same not. balls, came out the same vagina. No, we didn't come out the same balls, first of all. But, um, none of my siblings had the same both parents. Me. But, um, we all, like, a lot, we had the same mom and the same dad. But, that's not, even that's beside the point. Like, siblings are not the same person. What are you talking about? I just, I just, my point is, I think that it's her body. You know, like, it's her decision. If she doesn't feel like she wants to go through an abortion because morally she believes, like, that will, like, really fuck her up in the long run, which I get that, like, that would fuck me up, you shouldn't be mad at that choice. I don't even think she's thinking about that. I just think she wants to have this baby. Now, every situation is different, but I'm just strictly speaking on this particular situation. After hearing hearing their conversation, I'll talk about, I just think she wants to have this baby. Well, then and then, and then, and then let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you where I think he messed up at. Because after he said all these things that he said, right? About how he doesn't want to kid and all this and that. Then at the end, he gonna say, "But I'm not. I don't hate you. I I still I still mess with you. I don't hate you. I still want you to make your choice. I'm just saying you shouldn't do it because I'm not ready." And I feel like that's where you totally, totally messed up at. You have to stay straight into your. No, let me finish. Let me finish. You have to stay strict into your th- into your thinking because okay, for some girls, not saying for all girls, but for some girls, it's like I still want this man, so I'm gonna have his baby so that we can stay together. But if I tell you, that's not right. But let me finish. If I tell you that hey, we're not gonna be together. I'm gonna hate you. Don't do it. If you do it, I'm never gonna speak to you. Even if I do, end up changing my mind when we have the kid. But for right now, for me to get what I want out of the situation. I have to tell you things like I'm gonna hate you, all this stuff, never gonna talk to you, blah blah blah. That would make them not want to do it more, or make them want to do it more. But if you tell them at the end, I'm still gonna like you, I'm still gonna mess with you, it's blah blah, it's still your choice, and all this other nice stuff. Then she's gonna think, okay, well, nothing bad is gonna happen. Have this man date, but have this man date, he's still gonna love me, he's still gonna be there for the baby. So why, why listen? Let me just do it. And I 
play. That's where a lot of men mess up. Don't take that route. Stay stern and mad and be very hateful about the situation to get what you want. And then, and then if you want to stay with her after, stay. If you want to leave after, leave. I would leave because now I'm scared that you might get pregnant again. But don't tell at the end that you're still going to like them because then she's going to think, oh, well, he's not going to leave me. Nothing bad's going to happen. He's still going to love me. He's still going to be there for the baby. So let me have this baby. No. If I want you to have a divorce, I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to be there for that baby. If you have that baby, you're going to have the baby. And she don't even know her real name. You can't find me. Good luck. And that's what I was going to say is I do agree on that Because nobody knows my real name. You have my baby. Good luck. I do. But, um, I was going <laughs> to tell. Maybe. So you just heard about you and tell or do a homemade abortion. So put listen, her down the steps and put a okay, bunch of her dick fucking mooch at the What part of that must have changed? Yeah, I'm sorry, just kidding. <laughs> anyway, what I was going to say was I do, after all that I said about how, you know, whatever, on my point, the one thing that I do agree with you about the is, oh, oh, is if you are a woman and you have an unwanted, or the man doesn't want the baby, I don't think that you should expect the man to be there. That's one thing. If you want to have a baby, that's cool. But you need to realize that that part is on your part. Because if you have a baby with a man that is not going to be there, is not going to be a good father, is not going to be whatever the fuck, then that's your fault, that's your doing, and you got to take care of that baby by yourself. Yeah, because if the world will reverse, it will be messed up. So you should do it and listen to him. Because if you say he doesn't want it, it because if it was reversed, imagine if it was the guy gets the girl pregnant oh and the girl wants to kill the baby, but the guy really, really wants to keep the baby. That would be a I think it would be the same. Be a crazy it, no, that would be the same. Don't have nothing to do with that. It has to do with the killing the baby part. That's what it has to do with. It has to Man, do with. But if you, if I wanted you to keep my baby and you kill it, that'd be that'd be so. You're just thinking that because you're not, you're thinking of it because of how it is now. You're not thinking, you're thinking in a world where women get pregnant. You're not thinking in a world where men would get pregnant. The whole world would be changed. If men got if pregnant. The man, if men got pregnant? The and whole it world was our would cho- change. And it was our choice to keep it or not? Y'all would hate us because we're not keeping nothing. Yeah, we would. But I'm saying, it, the, the, how people view abortion would be the same. Like, people would still be like, you're essentially killing the baby. Yeah, but men would be you. more willing to kill it. Like, get this out of my body. Not necessarily because of yeah, you. you're crazy. No, because you're, you're not thinking crazy. about it that far. You're, you're not think- crazy. Listen, you're not thinking about it that deep. Because if men got pregnant. we're not going to keep babies by random no. girls that we don't even Listen, like or know their name. You're not thinking. That's crazy. Why do you want to keep this man's baby? You don't even know his name. Like, why do you want to keep this man's baby and do that to him? Why do you want to mm-hmm. do that to him? I mean, maybe she just doesn't want to have a baby so bad. Go have another little baby somewhere else with somebody else. It doesn't have to do, it doesn't necessarily have don't to do with the man. This. Don't bring me into this. It don't necessarily, see, that's, that's the thing. It's like, back to like me and my mom. Like, my mom, she didn't know my dad. She was in the, she was in the same exact situation. She was having sex with him. She got pregnant. She didn't even know his name. Like, I just found him like two years ago because I had to figure out his name. I literally figured it out. That's how I know I should have been protected. Because I figured out his name. I only knew his middle name. And I found him. Like, and I didn't know what state he was in. I didn't know where he was born. I didn't know how old he was. I didn't know anything. She didn't know anything about him. But she ended up having me anyways. She took care of me by herself. She didn't even, like, I think she told him. And, like, he visited me when I was, like, one, one. But then he, like, got incarcerated and it was a whole thing. But, like, what was my point? Oh, no. You don't have a point. You don't have a point. If he doesn't want it, don't do that to him. That's not nice. You can have another baby later by somebody who actually wants to have a baby by you. Have babies. I think the rule should be <laughs> have babies by people who want to have babies with you. That should be the rule. If the man doesn't want to have a baby with you, don't have his baby. That should be a law. I'm going to oh, make a vote to the I don't, Congress. Okay, okay, okay. okay. If we babies. make that law, listen, let's act like you're a congressman. If we make that law, right? Mm-hmm. So... We need to go to the source then because y'all need to stop blaming women and y'all need to go to the source. So if we're going to make a law where there it needs to be con- a consecutive thing, then we need to come up with some type of way, birth control or something, so 
something to keep men from getting women pregnant. So we can just eliminate the source, and then we don't gotta kill innocent lives, and just eliminate the They're birth. They're not lives yet. Okay. Yes, they are. Well, to, I'm not even gonna get into that argument because that's nobody knows. That's your opinion. That's my opinion. Like nobody knows. Like at a certain point, point they're lies, I guess. But like four or five, six weeks, it's not like it. No, it's I, a thing. I think it is because it goes into like it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna argue that because nobody knows. Like an argument that if, like, a, if I plant a tree, if I plant a tree and it doesn't grow into a tree yet, and you take the seed out of the dirt before it grows into a tree, did you cut a tree down? Is it still a tree though? Did you cut a tree down? But is it still? Or a did tree? you take a seed out of the ground? Which one did you do? But is it is it a tree or is it? I'm not asking tree? you a question. Is you're always asking my question with questions. No, Answer you're my saying, question directly. I'm asking you. Uh, you're saying this is not a human. If I plant a, a tree, I heard what you said. Into the ground, and before it even does anything. You take that seed out the ground. Did you cut down a tree or not? It doesn't matter. If it doesn't matter, what's I'm, going on okay, here? I'm asking you a question. Is it a tree or is it not a tree? Because what you said was it's not a human being. So is that a tree or is it is it something else? It's a seed. But it's essentially a tree seed, it's right? Potentially a tree. No, it's, it's a, a tree seed. seed. Is a little mini tree not the same thing not as yeah. as a as a big tree? That's like saying I'm not talking about killing babies. A, a mini tree would be a baby. A nine I'm months about before old. Before it becomes that. A nine months. We're not listen, saying having a board that nine months. But you're we're saying. We're talking about four so weeks. When, so you're saying the cutoff time is four weeks. That's when it's. That's when no, a I'm human being. I'm saying the cutoff time is whatever they say. No, but you, no, nobody knows. But you think that you know. So when is. <laughs> no. I think this is the end of the conversation. <laughs> no. No, we're, we're, I'm just going to ask one more question because see, you're no. You're turning red. <laughs> no, I'm not. Listen. She wants to murder me. <laughs> I can never have a real conversation with you because you interrupt it. It's something dumb. <laughs> can I finish my point? Go ahead. When is the cutoff time? When Mr. is the doctor? When the doctors say it's the cutoff time. No. Because let me finish. Because they do have a time. Because after For, a certain point, yeah, you're not allowed to have an abortion anymore. That has nothing to do with what I'm saying. So that should be that's the cutoff time. Whatever they say, the cutoff time. But that has time. nothing to do with. When is a baby a cute? Like when is the little egg? Like when is Eight a human months. being? Eight months. I had wondered that. Uh, okay, seven. fine, man. Whatever the cutoff time they say. What is the cutoff time? Nobody they, knows. They, but there there's is, a cutoff time when you can have time. an abortion. Right. But there's not a cutoff time for when they're a human. I'm gonna say I'm gonna use the abortion time as the cutoff time. Is what I'm saying. Okay, so what if she what if she passed it? Let's just say she. Passed yeah, it's it. too late. There's nothing you can do now, anyways. That baby might change your life. Maybe that's maybe that's oh, what God. was supposed to happen. Oh yeah, there are blessings. I love those little bundles of joy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right, man. Anyways. Anyways. You guys tell us what you think. I already know what the yeah. woman gonna say, so I want to hear it. Man, y'all comment. Um, you know what the man gonna say? I want to hear it either. But still, give your opinion. Oh. And follow us. On social media, Boy Girl Podcast, follow us on here. Like if you like what we're talking about, and like, and let us know what you want us to talk about, what you want us to argue about, what you want us to argue about. Yeah, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time. Love y'all.